guys, my name is Morgan. I'm a kindergarten teacher in Cleveland, Ohio. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video on how to make paper flowers. I get a lot of people that ask me how I make my flowers because in the videos um, on my page in my office, I have the paper flowers like attached to the wall. So those ones are just flat and I pinned those ones. So I'll show you how to do that. But um, I also have ginormous ones hanging in my classroom um, to represent the table colors. And I originally got this idea from the Happy Teachers palette. Her Instagram is so cute. You have to go check her out. Her classroom is super, super bright, like rainbow and um, black and uh, just the pops of color. And she has the big flowers too on her bulletin board. So that's where I originally got the idea. And she has a blog post that kind of explains how to do it. And then um, the one, I made them for my back bulletin board in my classroom, but then um, on a snow day, I wanted to try to make them so they'd hang from the ceiling above my tables. And that's how I kind of discovered how to do them 3D. So I grew up with my neighbors and they're pretty much like my sisters. Hi guys. Um, and the one is having her bridal shower this weekend. So she wanted me to make some. So I'm gonna show you how to make them so they're 2D, but then um, I'll also, I'm making them 3D for her. So then I'll just show you how to um, change it. So it's 3D. Okay, so the things that you need for your paper flowers are paper, and you get the 12 by 12 cardstock. It's like the scrapbooking paper for the big flowers because you'll need uh, the base to be big. Um, but if you just want smaller flowers and they don't have to be ginormous, you can just use 8 by 11 cardstock the whole time. Um, that's what I did for my flowers in my videos. Uh, above or below wherever my videos are on my page i think i might have used a few pieces of big for the black flower but um other than that i think i just used small paper and then you will need a glue stick i highly suggest this and then um obviously scissors to cut and then a pencil if you want to draw them um you can probably find templates online but i just hand draw them and then um i actually usually don't go by my drawing I normally just free cut but sometimes I'll draw one just to like get started okay so the next thing I'm going to show you are the different sizes so if you're making a really large flower you're going to have um, a big size a medium size and then a smaller size so my small ones are really little but it's okay because um, you end up rolling the paper like this one so every single one you have you have to cut a slit into it so you just cut the slit because eventually when you go to glue them you have to um, glue the pieces together so I don't know if you can see that but there's a slit and then you glue the pieces together so then what you're gonna do is decide which way you want your flower um, like popping so if you want it kind of in like that or if you want it to come out so um i usually do mine out so i would take it and roll it backwards and it will have a few creases in it but that's okay because you want it to um kind of bend so just one little roll and you are good also like a lot of these papers have tags on it so it wouldn't matter if you're making it 2d but um, mine are 3D, so if you're making them to hang, you'll want to pull all of the tags off. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to glue it. Sorry, my head's kind of getting cut off, but I don't want to get too far away. Um, I switched to being on this little table because um, the glue gets all sticky and I don't want it getting on my countertop. So when you cut your little slit in the paper, you put some glue on one side and then you fold it over like this. So if you want it to go underneath, you can, or on top, it doesn't matter. And then you kind of just hold it still for a second and let it dry. And then you'll do this with all the petals and then um, I'll show you how to kind of put it together. These flowers are for, um, I grew up with my neighbors 
and they're like my sister. So the one is getting married and she has her bridal shower tomorrow. So she saw them in my shopping haul video. She's like, uh, flowers in the shopping haul video. Where did you get those? So I told her that I would make her some. So what I wanted to add into that is that she got this paper and it's gold on one side and it's not on the other. Like it's kind of just tan. The other side's shiny. So if you want to do 3D ones where you're going to hang them, and you're going to see both sides, um, you might want to get so it's like kind of the same on the front and the back. Hers, she's just hanging them um, for a display like with pictures. So it won't really matter. Um, we just wanted them to be 3D so they can hang rather than we don't want to pin them into the wall because it's at a restaurant. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get all of your large petals. So if you were making a flower um, just like flat, then you would put all of the big ones down um, and lay them all out. So this one would be like ginormous if you were just making it flat. But what we're going to do is we are just making one side and then we'll flip it over and make the other side. So you want to make sure all the same color is on there. Then what you're going to do, it's hard to kind of show you on this, but um, when it's flat down, you want to make it so there's like folds and that's why you cut the little slits so that way you can glue them together. So I'm going to just continue working on that and then um, I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I got all three pieces together and they don't look like beautiful when they're like this, but um, you can see like the one didn't fit, so I have like a glue blob right there. But um, once you add in the other little pieces, you can't see these anyways. So um, you could go through, like see this flap is open, so I'll put some glue under there. And then um, if this were to hang on the wall, that's where you would put like the other big ones. You might put one right here and here and like right there. But we're gonna have it um, going both ways just so when it hangs, it's not like flopping and it actually looks like a flower. And then you're just going to layer in um, some of your smaller ones. So um, you're going to do the same thing, kind of like fold it under. The littler pieces are easy to make that flat fold. Um, just glue them in. Um, we're going to do these ones and then we're going to do the little ones and then I'll flip the flower over. Here is the finished product and it's pretty big. So it will hang. I'm not going to like let it drip down yet because um, I'm still like gluing it and letting it dry. So I went through and I uh, went under some of them and put some more glue just to make it more sturdy. But um, this is going to be the biggest one I make for this one. I'm going to make some smaller ones that I will show you in a little bit. Okay, so I totally forgot how or to show you how to do the middle. So I just take... Um, wraps and um, I just kind of like breathe you know, whatever like this and you can do it a bunch of different ways but um, if you want to just like cut a piece put it in half um, and then just like cut down the middle I mean it's really up to however you want it to look so um, if you do it like this though, then you can open up the little things and just kind of make them look cute. So um, I will be putting this in the middle of the flower and you'll get to see that at the end. Alright, so here's the finished product. There's the big gold one in the background and then I made a few navy ones and a tiny little gold one. And then as you can see, I did the inside middle pieces a little bit different. These ones I curled. Um, this one I put a lot on them and then I just kind of cut them and opened them up. And then this one just has a few little poking out. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you could subscribe down below, that'd be awesome. Have a good day.